What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to Black Desert. So today, we made a huge accomplishment. I didn't record it. I hit level 62. I was grinding with my guild, and we made a hard push from like 75% all the way up. And it took about, I don't know, probably 10, 15 hours total over the past few days. But uh, yeah, so we made it. We got to 62. You guys saw the clips in the beginning, blew up my Tritungrad, unfortunately, but we got to Kaposha. So, unfortunately, we're down like 3 billion silver, but we got another stack, which is not really great. So, anyway, um, what we're going to be doing, we have Rift today, and then I guess we could do some dailies. So, I've just kind of been walking, or not really walking, but riding my horse around a little bit, and um, trying to get it to level 30 right now it's at level 25 um, it got all the skills so right now I didn't really have any problems surprisingly caution isn't like it's bad but it's not really that bad because I'm jumping earlier so the one thing I got kind of nervous about is the speed um, yeah I some of my guildies are like, oh, mine's level 30, 165%. I'm like, oh, well, I don't think my horse is going to hit 160 at all. If it is, if it hits like 160, that's like barely breaking it for the next five levels. Um, but I assume the acceleration is what matters because, like, that's how you travel mostly unless you're auto-pathing. So as far as I know, speed is like, you know, this is speed. Right? And then, like, when you're running and doing that, that's acceleration. So, I think we want both of these up. We got all the skills ready. We enhanced some of this off camera. We enhanced the plus seven on a few videos ago. Six was, you know, all of these are just off camera. Five to six really isn't that much of a big deal. But anyway. Gahaku. Yeah, so we hit 62. That's a pretty big accomplishment for me. Will I go for 63? I have no idea, but like an hour at Gaifen is... <laughs> it got me, well, from 61 at 97%. Um, I think that was about an hour and a half at Gaifen. Got me about 2.5%. But anyway, we're going to be rocking a Kaposha earring for a pretty long time until we get our Tet Tungrad earring. I kind of wish it went up, but oh well. Anyway, down to Gahaku. So what have you guys been doing lately? Do you guys power level your shy to 58 or 60 already? I got mine to 58 on the first day in under four hours, but uh, I don't know if I care too much about plus six or like the 60 for the free 60 stack. Because with my enhancing luck, all that really matters is <laughs> getting pen armors eventually. Hey, maybe now when you fight Gahakin, we have to climb the rock near there. We can actually do it. Has anyone ever played RuneScape before, like the old school one? Because some of the music in here kind of sounds similar. Yeah. 
Nope, still can't climb to rock. Oh my god. Please. Alright, Gahaku boss, let's go. She would stop moving. Oh, when he yells like that, I try to stand like out of range. Cause that thing kind of hurts. maxed out the shadow bullet even though it's kind of bad i don't know if i actually like it that much it's a cool skill but it's just really hard to use to the point where it's like in pvp it's used it as an opener or something that's it For some reason i don't think i have my auto pod on No! I had it, and then... We did not have our pot on. That explains a lot. Alright, game. Opening at 25. Of course we get crown stones. Red box for crown stones, by the way. I got better stuff from the, like, blue box. It's kind of sad. Alright, so now... Let's head down to Port Feria. Cause I want to do the daily and see. Well, actually, we're just mostly just traveling to level up our XP on our horse, but I guess we can do a daily. I heard there's going to be a new boat coming out at some point. I don't know what it's going to be called, but like, hopefully it's uh, good. Because I still don't have a frigate. I have the sailboat one. I got that a few years ago. But, um, I'd like to have a new boat just to have it. I think you can still buy the frigates. They might be sold out because everyone... Oh, no, they're not sold out. They're just stupidly expensive. They're going down in price, but... Yeah, I don't do much sailing enough to make it matter. We already spent a lot. Um... Not only buying the gear, that was like around 60 to 80 million a piece, and then we enhanced it all. Uh, the horseshoes. So let's see. Um, I think, let's just say an average of 70 million a piece, or like actually 80, because I bought it enhanced at plus 5. So that's like 400 mil. Plus uh, enhancing the shoes was, or not, yeah, the horseshoes. 
Probably another hundred. So yeah, that was just a lot of money on minimal speed. But I think it'll be 500 mil. It'll pay off in the long run. Even though my horse is kind of a potato in terms of speed, it's still faster than my tier 8, so. The one that we've been using, the good old classic. But that's okay. I don't know if I want to invest in another tier 9 horse. Like, I'd love to get a unicorn or a doom horse. It's just... People think I got lucky getting this one, which I kind of, I guess you can say I did, but it was on a 23 stack, and the amount I spent on that was basically the equivalent of just buying it off the market for like 10, maybe 11 bill. So, kind of, I think I just broke even and didn't really get the one I wanted, so it's okay. Okay, let's see if they ever fix this quest. You. Follow me. I think as long as you don't take any weird, weird turns, should be fine. Oh my god, I thought my game froze there. the struggle it's funny because when you look at the rewards or did, I don't need where is it challenge it where is it oh here <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna get this Okay, so yeah, at level 63, you get a tribe belt, level 64, which, you know, I think only one person on NA has it. You get a tri earring. Like, dear God, dude, if you're getting 64, at least make it a tet level. The amount of money you can get just by grinding, you'll get a tet. But yeah, I was just really happy with the Kaposha earring that we got. Because it gave me one chance to get it, which failed. But at least this one won't blow up. It'll stay with me forever until I get to Tungrads. I don't know what I want to do. When I get more tries... Or like, should I just buy a try and hope to blow it up? and risk it, or should I just buy it at Tet? Because if I were to think about it, it's like, if you you have three attempts to get one Tet, right? Minus, and then you lose the stack, which is kind of the scary part, or the more expensive part, or should I just save up and buy a Tet Tungrad? I'm hoping this goes down in price, because the curve is so weird. The 
when it went up, it's mostly because everyone got the free 600 mil or the 500 mil for getting the shy to 58 and then the 100 mil for creating one um, back before it came out. So, yeah, the, every everyone pretty much got 600 free mil. And we used our money on the horse gear, which is kind of a funny thing. So... I don't know what I should do. Save up and guarantee it, or just try to enhance it ourselves. Because right now I have a 104 stack, a 101 stack. That kind of makes me sad thinking about in general, but we ignore that. I'm an 81 stack and a 111 stack. See something cool that may or may not work. Oh, that's caution, by the way. Anti fun. Uh, so we've saved all these. Should probably hold on to that treasure map. I think we need like 30 of these for if we ever wanted to make a frigate at some point in our lives, but the answer is not really. All right, let me see what else I could do. Do I have anything to pick up here? Combat book, seven days. I don't think I'll be grinding anymore for a while. All these books that I've never used since day one of the game, and they gave us all this. Buffs cannot be overlapped. What? Remember this, we'll never forget the Trina box where everyone got soft cap gear for a week and then even Kakao was like, hey, we're sorry. We didn't know you guys hated that. Because the devs don't play the game. We already knew that though. I always wondered if it was possible to get hit by those cannonballs. I don't think so. Out of curiosity, if anyone watches this and is level 62 or 63, how long did it take you to get from 62 to 3? Assuming you're grinding at like, I don't know, Monchums or something.
a shortcut. You know what we haven't ever tested? There is one thing I want to try. And it's taking the sailing balloon thingy. I don't even know where it is in Heidel. Is there one? If there's one in Heidel, we're going to go find it right now. All right, NPCs. Are there any random question marks? Hold on. They they had to have added it. Um Okay, so Heidel is Serendia. Transport? Oh, that's not the right transport we wanted. We're going to take the hot air balloon. We're going all the way to Altanova just to try it out. And I don't even know where it takes me. Does it take my horse too? I've never done it. They added it like two weeks ago. I just kind of want to see how long it takes versus just riding there yourself. Because I'm pretty sure it's just it's faster to ride if you have a tier 7 or higher. third to the next level just over time I'll get it to 30 to be honest all we really needed was uh, instant excel drift test instant excel Where is the hot air balloon? There it is. Let me see. We rode all the way down here because he wanted to try it. Um. So I guess it doesn't matter which one. I would like to go to Valencia or Calfion. Well, I just want to try. I didn't really want to go any well to Valencia. All right, horse, you're going with me. You get a free, free pass. If you die, I'm sorry. Oh. Use the interact. Oh no! Sorry, buddy. You're not going. Wait, hold on. Can you go with me? Uh, don't. You have caution. It's fine. Let's 
Sorry, I guess you can't go. What? It disappeared. Dude, I just got scammed. It disappeared. Okay, game. Okay, do I at least have two passes? Nope. Apparently, we only have like 10 seconds to get on. horse apparently you're not allowed to go with me no no <laughs> feels bad man we just left our horse behind all to try a new hot air balloon Got some pretty good screenshots for thumbnails here. Press the mouse function one to switch to observe. Look at those texture pop ins. Remastered graphics, intense. It actually looks really good though. I mean, we're seeing a lot of trees and stuff. You look to your left side, you see trees and rocks, a lot of hills. If you look to the right side, you see more trees, rocks, and hills, and a bridge, water. Going down that way to Valencia. We left our horse behind. Uh, so that one is the Omar Lava Cave down there. Going down there, where the cursor is, that's Tariff. All the way down there, I believe, was where you get the Striker Awakening. Hey, another balloon! Whoa, the red! Who's that? Now, straight ahead, we see a lot of trees. Some are different colors. It's the fall season 24-7 apparently, but that's okay. Why is the... Why is the fire purple? If I were to die to fall damage, because I wanted to drop at Heidel, Over here, you see the Heidel River. Going into Heidel. No, let me off. Heidel option one. Cannot jump. Everything's dead. Feels bad.
I want to get off here. Let me go. I wonder if people are taking this like Calfion to Valencia or something. I am curious, where does this the Calfion one go? We'll find out in a minute. We're kind of wasting blackstones just to test this, but it's fine. Oh, dude, so you can't, you guys can't see it, but some dude just failed a pen roulette. Oh, I've done that once, never again. I've learned my lesson. Remember, if you want to go for pen, do it one piece at a time. It'll hurt less. You're probably going to spend the same amount of money in total, but it hurts less and makes you want to quit less. So, one piece at a time, never roulette. Plus, if it hits the wrong piece, you're gonna be down gear and not really happy either <laughs> speaking of that my next my next goals would maybe be a pen kudum. it's like I don't really care too much for the pen kudum. I of course want the tet as as high priority but in terms of like gear probably a pen bags or pen tree Aragons and Griffin can wait I want those, but I think the highest priority would be bags and tree, Aragon, then uh, Griffin. But yeah, I have a black star. I just don't feel like ever enhancing it. Right now, we're in the process of rebuilding, saving all our money, and uh, yeah, hoping this bags glove sells. We bought it after Night Vendor for like a hundred mil, and I'm trying to sell it so two bill saved I'm hoping at some point Tet Tungrad earrings go down in price to like seven bill that would be nice Now that I think of it, I don't actually know where the uh, Calfeon drop-off spot is. Well, actually, I think I do, but I don't know if I talked to the NPCs. I might have. Where are you taking me, game? We just passed Calfeon. So, um... Pearl Abyss, I know you don't watch my videos, but, uh... You should add a stable keeper here for people like me who can't bring the horse with them. Wow, my immersion. We rode here. Now I have to pick up my horse again. Just charge me two black stones and let me bring my horse. Oh my goodness, dude. Now it's at one health.
Well, that was cool. We rode the thingy from Alta Nova to Calfion. I guess I kind of just wanted to see what would happen. But yeah, with that said, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys later.